Welcome to part 6 of Mio Console 3D in use. We're going to listen to the results from a tiny room tracking session to track to Pro Tools and dissect it as we go. Here's an initial live tracking session for a song called Dirty Elements. We're just going to listen to the last take. Drums, bass, guitar, scratch vocal. The drums have effects on the kick, snare, and room mic and are feeding a parallel drum channel, as well as a little bit of reverb. When you pull down that parallel track and turn off the plugins, you hear what the drum set really sounds like. Solo kick drum. It's a Telefunken M82 dynamic. Turn on the transient controller and the Mio console EQ. And there's the kick we're looking for. Snare drum. Add in the bottom mic. I'm using a little phase reverse because the mics are out of phase. And I've got ribbon mics for the three toms. These do double duty. They pick up the toms as well as the cymbals. And then a small crown PZM up in the corner with 14 millisecond delay on it. And as you bring up the parallel drum compression track, drums come alive and you can hear a little bit of that scratch vocal in the background. We're going to add a little touch of reverb. That scratch vocal will disappear when the drums are hit harder. And here's my bass. Let's take the effects off. That's the direct coming through the Mio Console 3D EQ. Now we're running through an amp simulator and an LA-2A. That's the sound of the guitar right off the amp with a ribbon mic. LA-3A. A little bit of delay. Scratch vocal. He's singing in the same room with everybody else. I just check the overall mix level by running it through a limiter, bringing the volume down checking it with a loudness analyzer. If I want to get a rough mix while we're tracking, I just have to remember to make sure my listen bus and my mix are both muted. When I mute the scratch vocal track, you can barely hear the bleed over the drums. And if he was playing harder, you wouldn't hear it at all. Drums end up sounding a lot bigger than the room would suggest, and the cymbals just kind of sit in the mix. It's really nice. So that's how I record into Pro Tools using Mio Console 3D. Thanks so much for following along. That's the end of part six.